Okay, guys, welcome back. Here we are uh, with Tesla trading, with Tesla another day, with Tesla uh, financial learning, with Tesla. Look at this. Um, Tesla already derailed, I would say. That's going to be the new title of this video. Uh, when I just published one saying that uh, Tesla was recovering very fast, look at what happened. Tesla started dropping, 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 and it went below the 200 moving average. That's not a good sign. I mean, it might just be retesting it, but it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, okay? Um, I don't think it's going to go below 3%. I, I would doubt it, but uh, this might be the moment to buy today, okay? That's the thing, actually. If you notice about uh, how Tesla works on a daily basis, normally it has a, a drop at the beginning or a hype at the beginning and then drops very much, and that's when you should buy. And the days like today when it hypes and it doesn't drop, it dropped a little bit later, that would have been the best moment to buy. But if you miss that spot, later on through the day, you might be able to catch up. So don't get too depressed about this. I mean, that was a very big drop, uh, 395. Well, it's five to seven dollars difference. So, okay. Not too bad. Uh, how about work? Uh, Slack actually recovered now. It went down below the 200, did the same thing as Tesla, and later on recovered better than Tesla so far, as we just saw. Uh, something I noticed that was really fun uh, because I had some share, well, I have some shares on it. It's Zoom Info Technologies. It's a different company than Zoom, the one that we use for conference call. And, uh, and now it's going down, but it reached uh, like 11 or 12% here. And uh, we'll see if it recovers. I was gonna put the stop loss, and I was thinking if I put the stop loss at around this level, uh, but look at this, it would have sold off because this level here, the previous, intersection when it went the lowest was at around 18, 23, 18, 18, I was thinking, 18, 17. And now it's around the same level because that's not updated. Uh, that's, I can tell, it's wrong. And um, yeah, 38, 22, you see? I already get to know uh, how Yahoo Finance works. And uh, yeah, that's a big drop. I don't think it's going to recover. I mean, when you have a stock that has a hype at around 10, 12%, normally they don't go back up. So uh, I was going to sell a few shares and I set stop loss. Actually, I did set a stop loss. <laughs> Look, it went through. The stop loss went through. I don't remember at what price I put it, but uh, yeah. I start doing the video and then I forget what I've done and uh, th there's always some tweaking here, something here, something there. Look, 38, 35, I put it. So yeah, that was pretty good that I did so, but I only sold part of it because I was at a loss. So uh, if we check it out again, I'm still losing 13, uh, 14 dollars. Uh, with the remaining shares I have. In total, I, I lost $30, okay? So I would need these remaining shares, 15 shares, to at least bring $30 to break even. Plus the taxes the, oh, in both ways, tax, and which you have to calculate more or less, and the fees. So make it $35, okay? So... Uh, the next hyping one is this one, but the loss is so big and I have so little left, I'm not going to sell unless it's 10%. I'm not selling. I just leave it there and see if in a few days it goes back up. Rocket companies is 
I know, sorry, Spo uh, Shopify is going up. I only have one share and uh, so far we're making $25. And that's a historic actually, but it's the first time I bought Shopify and so far is making that. I'm explaining it. I'm saying that because Turquoise uh, Acquisition Corporation, I already made $100 at one point, but now I'm at a loss with these four uh, shares. So uh, what else? Slack so far is the one doing the best, but this morning I was making $150. So uh, I should have sold some then, but it was not at my target uh, price. So I decided not to sell anything. I actually canceled my uh, order to sell uh, with the intention to that I would do a stop loss to uh, help um, the stock or follow the stock on the way up. But that never happened. So basically, so uh, look at that. It went down. I hope to be mistaken. Look, I set a target to the price, uh, the 5% I always put as target. It was at around 42. It would need to sell. And I'm 8 nine percent let's say from the target that's really way far away we need to close today a 19 percent that's crazy it won't happen so that's why i decided to just split it and put a stop loss in a part of the shares and that way in case something would go wrong and i would be doing a video and i would forget about it which is what happened it would sell. So that's it. Uh, work. Okay. Starts to go down. So again, it's if it goes down now below the 200, we won't be able to match our objective either. So yeah. And look, it had a double top. And here, Tesla is going in the same direction. Look, below, boom. So yeah, it's not easy. Um, we could have sold some at around 406, 407, 408. And we could buy them back now. That, that could have been a cool thing to do. But now we're getting closer to uh, closing time. In three hours we close. What happens uh, if we imagine you sell them now? Okay. Then uh, after market, there's a hype and the price goes up three, four percent more from closing. Ta -ta -ta -ta. So then at opening, you already uh, lost the possibility to buy new ones at a lower price. So you already lost because of aftermarket and pre-market. There's a rally and pff. yeah, the best is if you can do that through opening hours, unless you can trade aftermarket, uh, which you can uh, with a wee bull, but uh, I cannot do it. So yeah, those are things to have under consideration. If you cannot do aftermarket, okay, what would you do? So at uh, 9.30 or so, 9.30 opening, try to there buy or sell, you know, at the beginning, first hour, if possible. Sometimes it takes two hours, but normally that's the best moment then that gives you time through the day to resell or to rebuy and, uh, and make a, a small gain. I mean, if you can make a big gain, much better. I mean, some, some days Tesla has uh, had a, a difference of 10% between the low and the high of the day. 10%. And I'm talking about two, three days ago. Seriously, it's, it's crazy. So it can be done. It can be done. It's like I just haven't managed to do it. <laughs> I hope you have, but I haven't. So, okay. 
Stop talking. Come on. Stop talking and analyze the market. Analyze what's going on. Okay, we recover. We're going on our, our way back up. We'll go back to work and see what's happening. It's having like a fake uh, down up, which is good because if it doesn't go down, that will mean that it's going to go up with a lot of power normally. I mean, that's my opinion also. And uh, Zoom Info Technologies, which is a company that I don't even know what they do, actually. But we can check that out. How would you check that out? So you go to face, uh, Facebook, I was going to say, Yahoo Finance, and then you keep click in Profile. And in Profile, it tells you about the company. The best, it's a software application. I don't even know this software application. But look at the chairman. He's making almost, wow, one million almost per year pay. Some are making one million. The chief uh, financial officer is making one million. And the chief revenue officer is making 1.5 million. Wow. We obviously chose the wrong job here. But, uh, okay, so that's what they're doing. Good. And I normally stick to the summary where you have most of the information. And we can check uh, five days. Wow, it has been going up for five days. But I'm pretty sure I bought when it was at the highest peak here. And that's why I need 42 to be able to make any profit. At the end, I can see, because I'm talking about, this is like a month ago, I can see that, yeah, and this would take, oh, that was, okay, 47 in August 6th. Okay, so that's a month and a half ago. That's better, okay, but could that happen again? That's the key question. And uh, and my target not right now, 42, it's kind of in between both. The, the highest peak of a month and a half ago and, and, and now we're going. I mean, we're talking about six months ago. That, so that's, that should be three months ago. That's June. Why is it saying August 6th? I don't know. It looks like if in perspective, that should be, but this is halfway. Okay, July. Okay. It's doable. Looks like it's doable. Okay. And software applications, I don't know exactly what kind of software application we're talking about here. I doubt it's Zoom, like the Zoom, but yeah. Uh, Slack, it's not going up. Look at that. It just went backwards or sideways. And Tesla is going back up. It's recovering. Okay. So at the end, not so bad. But think that uh, an hour ago we were 5% up, 5 plus, And now we are 1 mm, minus from that point. So that's it. I just reload it to make sure we have the correct information and that seems to be the case. And actually we could check what are the others doing. So look at that, Lee Auto, it's 5.7% up. Actually I had it within my list of future stocks to buy and I never it never happened because I didn't have the budget but look at that it would have been a good purchase. Neo is recovering after it, it had a huge hype it, it did really good then it dropped like a rock and oh Nicola uh, went down. <laughs> Nicola was like five or six percent up this morning and now it's one percent up so it lost all its momentum something might might have happened i suppose okay lithium america's corporation is recovering 18 percent it dropped like crazy uh, after a battery day and i suppose it was because elon musk 
said that lithium is something you find anywhere in the US. There's enough lithium in North America to build or put batteries in all the three billion cars with B uh, that are uh, in circulation at the moment right now. So you, you could use lithium uh, very cheaply everywhere. And obviously lithium uh, America's corporation is going to go down. And they got, uh, if I understood correctly, they got um, um, a lithium mine that they can mine and at uh, their own way, that way it's ethical and they're going to try to get as much lithium as possible to build new batteries. So that's really good. And basically Tesla wants to be vertically integrated from the raw material all the way to the end product and delivery of the product. So raw material meaning like the mining for the batteries and, and that's really good and keep an ethical, a very ethical um, uh, logistic uh, path and operations. So I'm really up for that. I really like that. I really like it if it works. I used to work for Levi's and uh, we used to do the same, even though people were saying that uh, we had uh, child labor and all these, but we even had an ethical department and I don't know, it's like you're trying to do so much stuff and then you always have all these people behind you saying that you are not doing anything and, uh, and actually you are. So it's, it's, it's sad to, to, to see this, but okay. If those people wouldn't be there, probably Levi's wouldn't do anything about it. So, yeah, you have to consider these things. Um, at the end, it's all uh, diplomacy, politics and business. So that's, that's the way it is. You know, if, if what they say affects the business, then uh, you do it. Otherwise, you wouldn't do it. But it shouldn't be this way. They should be ethical from the beginning. And that's the feeling I get about Tesla. Tesla is that way. It has always been that way. And I hope it's real and not just a lot of blah, blah, like uh, Trevor from Nikola. So, uh, so far here, I'm seeing that most stocks are going up. Look, Galicia uh, is going down 5%, but it went up yesterday, 10%. So... Google is going up a little bit. PayPal, oops, I clicked on that one by mistake. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so far, I don't see much change. Nothing really going on. That It's like a wow. And uh, what happened with Tesla? Okay, Tesla is going back and Tesla is, oh my God. What is this? Is this the 200 moving average? Are we down here? What's, how can it be? Oh, no, no, that was the previous graph. Oh, I'm sorry. That was, I was like, oh my God, what happened in five minutes? No, we're fine. We're above the 200 moving average. So, guys, I think it's a good moment to close it here. Uh, thanks for watching. And don't forget, this is only my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. And uh, don't do or uh, follow anything I say, okay? So, enjoy. Have a nice uh, evening after market. And, uh, and trade safely. Bye.